Hello, in this lecture you will learn how to use environment variables as well as the console variables in the c .NET Core web application. So what we have here is a simple web application. Now this is the entry point of that web, web application and as you may already know .NET Core web application is really a console application. So we have both console arguments and we will also try to access the environment variable. We will only create one but you will see that it is in fact very easy to create several. Now I will put in a breakpoint right here so that we don't we wouldn't need to display anything we would just be able to kind of take a quick look at these uh, variables just like that when we code stops. So now how to actually put those variables in. To do that you need to go on the project and right click on it. You go there and then you go to properties. Again it's in the bottom. In the bottom it is. And now you need to go to debug. Now also in debug you will find these various different things. You can have a working directory, you can launch the browser and you can have the URL. So that's the launch URL on which the application is launched. And then you get, you get these environment variables. So that is basically where you store your environment variables. That's very easy to do. And why is this useful for those of you who do not know? In the IIS Internet Services Manager, in the IIS Manager, you will be able to do the same thing. So, you may create two different websites one for testing, one for live, and then in this development mode, you would have the same data or perhaps different data to develop locally and to test locally. So you have these different pieces of data and you don't need to change any connection strings, any API keys and secret values and all that. And more importantly, you don't need to disclose any of those values to your lower level developers, your lower level partners, co-workers and people like that. You don't need to do any of that. You don't need to create any security risks. You simply have any, everything on your IIS manager. And for those test values, you have everything in the Visual Studio. So that's very useful. And let's just try to add one of those variables. So in the program here, we are looking for TST. So let's add a TST variable. So you need a key and a value. So let's do TST and the value, let's say test value, just like that. Should work perfectly. See if we can go. If now we can go to the top, the application arguments. So let's give it a shot with those application arguments. Now the difference basically between application arguments and the environment variables is that application arguments is like a list in C-sharp. It's a simple list. You need to access values by indexes. Now environment variables is like a dictionary in C-sharp. You need to access values either by key or by index, but usually this is done by key, that's the difference between the actual index, or rather dictionary. So you have key, and by that key you find the value. So again, which one you prefer doesn't really matter, you can use actually both of these on IIS as well. So let's try some of these arguments, so let's do TST1 and TST2. TST2. So again, this is split passed on a space, the same way it's done with C++, with C++ console. 
so now we have all that and let's try to launch it let's try to launch it and see how it works we should break in a second we will break and we will kind of hover on those variables or we will be able to look it to look at them in the other way let's see if it breaks when it breaks For some reason it's not really breaking let's see okay we do have sh uh, we do have a break which is great so now we can hover on this but if you haven't seen this before you can actually go on these autos and you can expand this window and you will be able to see these variables just like that so we have an array of these arguments so the index 0 is dst1 exactly what we had and then index 1 is dst2 exactly what we stated in that debug properties uh, tab and then we have the environment variable assigned to a envar variable so we have the value test value so again this works perfectly this is a great thing to do you won't need to write any scripts for any kind of automation unless of course you need some testing then that would be a better way to go but if you don't need any function or any kind of unit testing and all that, if you just want to upload your software to your server, you just use this simple approach with Visual Studio and IIS and you don't need to bother yourself with anything more. And with that, we will conclude this lecture.